What's going on everybody? And in this week's lesson, we are checking out the extended section of Tool's Stink Fist. Now, when over the recent years, when Tool plays this song, they add a little section after one of the breakdowns. And today we're gonna just check that out. Now I'm not gonna go through the slight variations that are in the live version and what they add in now, just this one section, cause that's kind of the main gist of it. All right, so I am gonna drop tuning down in the description you can find a link for all the tabs, and uh, let's check that part out. So there you go, that is the little section that they like to add in. All right, so let's let's jump right in and start explaining it. All right, so he starts off with this note, second fret, low string. And then we're gonna hit basically the harmonic on second fret. You might have to wiggle that note around a little bit there, kind of find that sweet spot. But we have this. It's really just this rhythm. Right? And I like adding in those percussive notes. Okay, and you're gonna go through that a bunch of times. And then the next section, he goes in just, you know, the timing getting out of that section is a little tricky. There's only live, not so good videos on the interwebs, right? So kind of take it with a grain of salt, the transitions, if you jam on it, figure out what works. The next section, we're gonna change our rhythm a little bit to more of a feel. We're still on the second fret, but then we're gonna add in the hammer-ons, two five, two five, on the low D and fifth string A, right? And then you have a fill, and you're gonna start it from the second, I'm sorry, the fourth string. So it's two five two five two five two times in a row. Okay. Feel free to add a little squealy kind of artificial pinch harmonics over here when you do that. Kind of makes it stand out a little bit. It sounds really good. And then we're gonna get we're gonna rip off corn blind a little bit. We're gonna go o two o three, and then back to the two right. And that last time, just build up on that power chord on second position, right? Two, 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 four, five. And then typical Jones, we're gonna take that upper structure of that tri of that power chord. And we're gonna go way up to 14th position. And we have that rhythm. Again, that kind of dotted feel, you find that all over tools playing. Down, up, down, up. Slide back a whole step to 12, back up. Up to, what is that, 17, 19, 20. Back down. And then they're gonna, um, he's gonna pull in the melody that's in the song. 16, 14, 12, 14. And then you 
this. And I like to cross string it. It kind of looks like when Jones played, he maybe moves back a step, but you know, it is what it is. I like to do that twice, and then you get a nice unison bend on that 17th position, so you're bending the 19 on the G string. And then once you get that going for the measure, you're gonna take, keep the bend, take your pinky, second string, 20. Like that. And then you have the last little outro section right here, you get 10, 10, five, and then two. And there's that down, up motion. And then you repeat that. And then he builds up on the D. It kind of sounds like they put some open strings at the end of it. Then there's that nasty filter slide, and then right back into the section. And they go right into that, all right? And there you go. There's the extended section in Tool's Stink Fist, all right? Hope you guys dig that. It's kind of fun to figure out. Down in the description below, you can find links for the tabs. And as always, let me know what you come up with. So until then, I'll see you next time. Thanks a lot.